Hello everyone, welcome to the 52nd Pongophile News of our channel. In our videos, we bring you the latest updates on Megal's development journey, from infrastructure projects to urban advancements. We keep you informed about the dynamic transformations shaping the state of West Bengal. So let's start with our first news. The ISCO Greenfield Steel Plant in Burnpur has received environmental clearance and is set to be developed adjacent to the existing facility covering 900 acres by financial year 2029. With an investment of Rs 36,000 crore by sale, the project is expected to significantly boost the socio-economic landscape of the Asansol Durgapur region. With a planned capacity of of 4.08 MTPA, it will create around 15,000 jobs. In our next update, PM Narendra Modi has led the foundation stone for the 1,010 crore city gas distribution project in Alipur Duar and Kuch Bihar, West Bengal. The project will supply PNG to over 2.5 lakh households, 100 plus commercial units and industries and CNG to vehicles via 19 CNG stations as per government's MWP targets. In this week's third news, Kolkata-based Texmaco Rail and Engineering Limited has secured an order worth Rs 140.55 crore from the Ministry of Railways, Government of India, for the supply of flat multi-purpose wagons. With this, the company's total order book has reached Rs 7,115 crore. Up next, semiconductor giant Global Foundries, which currently operates a 13,000 square feet facility at the STPI IT Park in Sod Lake Sector 5, has requested an additional 90,000 square feet for expansion. The company is expected to move towards fabrication in the future and will establish a fabless center for design and testing at the Kolkata Power Center, complementing its existing operations. Meanwhile, US-based Santec Global Inc., known for its expertise in semiconductors and nanoelectronics, has also expressed interest in launching a semiconductor project in Kolkata. In our fifth news, technocrat turned entrepreneur Purnendu Chatterjee has launched TCG Crest, the Chatterjee Group Centers for Research and Education in Science and Technology, a cutting-edge university focused on science and technology. Located in Sonlik, the institute compromises five schools, natural sciences, mathematical and computer sciences, health, environment and sustainability studies, humanities and social sciences, and economics. The facility will also house East India's only quantum computer. Admissions for the PhD program will begin in August this year, with master's programs scheduled to launch in August 2026. In this week's final update, Kolkata is fast emerging as a hub for data and tech-driven innovation with several global and next-gen companies setting up base in the city. GWC Data AI, a next-gen data and analytics firm, is launching a new development center at the Godrej Genesis building in Salt Lake Sector 5. Meanwhile, New York-based business consulting firm Cognitude is opening its fourth Indian office in Kolkata following Gurgaon, Chennai and Bangalore. That's all for this week's update on Bengal's development. Stay connected with us for more updates on Bengal's progress. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel for more future updates.